Welcome back, everybody. Last month's better than expected jobs numbers are now sparking a heated debate on Capitol Hill. Why? Well, Republicans are looking at the data and they say it's time to ease off on the emergency stimulus funding while President Obama is suggesting extending government benefits even longer. You know, that unemployment payment and such. Well, this morning on Fox News Sunday, our Chris Wallace asked Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky which side he falls on regarding long-term unemployment. And here's what he had to say. I do support unemployment benefits for the 26 weeks that they're paid for. If you extend it beyond that, you do a disservice to these workers. There was a study that came out a few months ago and it said if you have a worker that's been unemployed for four weeks and on unemployment insurance and one that's on 99 weeks, which would you hire? Every employer, nearly 100%, said they will always hire the person who's been out of work for weeks. When you allow people to be on unemployment insurance for 99 weeks, you're causing them to become part of this perpetual unemployed uh, group in our, in our economy. And of course, that's just part of what Rand Paul had to say. Joining me now, the anchor of Fox News Sunday, Chris Wallace. Chris, great interview, and that is just a little bit of preview, but what does he think the alternative is? Well, it's interesting because one of the reasons we talked to uh, Senator Paul this week is because he was in Detroit to announce his idea for what he calls freedom zones. The, it, it is a conservative market-based idea of how to raise up folks in the inner city. He also, with the Republican Party, realizing that they're doing terribly with minorities, is setting up outreach centers in inner cities around the country, and he was there for the opening of that. Uh, the answer, according to Senator Paul and a lot of Republicans, is market-based solutions, not government handouts. He says lower the tax rate dramatically, 5% corporate uh, and uh, individual tax rate, uh, school choice, uh, education tax credits, uh, various provisions to make it easier for people to invest uh, in, in the inner city. He says, look, we've tried government solutions. They haven't worked. So let's try market-based solutions. And that's his answer to a lot of these issues. But I got to tell you, it's a steep road that they got to climb. In Detroit, for instance, in 2012, Obama got 97% of the vote, Mitt Romney 2%. Does he actually believe the unemployment number? You know, there's been some speculation that it, it doesn't really accurately reflect what the situation is in our country. Well, it, he, he points out the fact that for uh, blacks, the unemployment rate is roughly double what it is for whites. And, you know, he, he, regardless of what the statistics are, he understands there's a serious uh, unemployment problem around the country, but especially with minorities in the inner cities. Mm -hmm. And he's saying that the typical liberal democratic solution is not the right way to go, uh, that you need to go market-based and try something else because these ideas haven't worked. I got about 30 seconds left and I want to preview the rest of your show, but you did not let that interview go without asking what his plans are for a presidential run. Want to tell us or do we have to watch? Well, uh, I will just say this. Uh, he talks about it in great depth, talks about his wife's strong opposition to it. But I think anybody who listens to it, and I invite you to watch it either on the broadcast network or the Fox News channel at two or six, he wants to run for president. There's no question in my mind. That doesn't mean he will run, but I think he would like to find a way to run for president. Very interesting. Chris, thank you. It's always great to see you on Sunday mornings. Makes my day, and we'll watch the show as well. <laughs> thank you, and yes. 10 years on Fox News Sunday. We celebrate our anniversary I today. I know. Happy anniversary. What a milestone, we Chris. You look good. We even had a cake. Okay, we're going to check it out. Thank you so much for being with us. Don't forget you, to tune into Fox News Sunday again on your local station or 2 and 6 right here on Fox, and we will be right back. Hi, honey. Did you get the toaster cozy? Yep, got all the cozies. With new FedEx One Rate, I could fill a box and ship it for one flat rate. So I knit until it was full. Be crazy not to. Is that Nana? FedEx One Rate. Simple flat rate shipping with reliability of FedEx. The perfect stocking stuffers. The jewelry exchange has infinity.